Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about diaphragmatic hernia. This is a childhood illness. This lecture in, is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, you can just click on i button and you can subscribe my channel so that you can get information about all these latest videos. Let us start. What is diaphragmatic hernia? A diaphragmatic hernia is a birth defect in which there is an abnormal opening in the diaphragm. You know what is the diaphragm? Diaphragm is a muscular wall between chest cavity and abdominal cavity. So if there is some problem or weakening in the diaphragm, then an opening is created and the Abdominal organs reaches up in the chest cavity and these organs may include sometime one or more like stomach, spleen, intestine into the chest cavity. Herniated organs which are from abdomen and they are in the chest cavity, they put pressure on vital organs such as lungs and heart which leads to clinical manifestations related to respiratory system. What sign and symptom appears due to this problem? These are increased respiratory rate that is tachynia, bluish discoloration of the skin that is cyanosis because there is less space for the lung to inhale the air, broad chest and scaphoid abdomen, broad chest and scaphoid abdomen because in the chest cavity there are more organs and in the uh, abdominal organ uh, cavity there are less organs. So the abdomen is small and chest cavity is broad. Difficulty in breathing definitely, dyspnea, reduced left side chest movement because in the left side there are abdominal organs. So during respiration only right side chest moves more during respiration. Auscultation of peristalsis in the chest cavity. If we auscultate then peristalsis movements can be heard. Shifting of heart sound. Normally heart, heart sound we hear uh, on left side but due to the presence of abdominal organs in the chest cavity the there is mediastinal shift means heart goes towards right side. What are diagnostic investigation we do for this disorder? Chest X-ray. In X-ray, there is mediastinal shift, means the presence of air-filled intestine in the chest cavity, and the heart and lungs moves slightly towards right side. Then abdominal X-ray. This shows gas shadows and absence of abdominal organs. Ultrasound. Yes, and some routine blood investigations we can do in the diagnostic investigations. What treatment is done for diaphragmatic hernia? The, in the treatment modalities, we divide in two types. First is medical management and later surgical management. In medical management, nasogastric tube is inserted to decompress the stomach. So abdominal swelling can be reduced. IV fluids are provided to correct the fluid and electrolyte imbalance. Body temperature should be maintained and antibiotics may be given to control the infections. Then surgical treatment is needed. In surgical management, from abdominal opening, the organs of abdominal cavity are replaced in the abdomen and suturing is done in the diaphragm. This is known as repair of diaphragmatic defects. After this chest drainage is also done to help the lungs to expand and reaches to the normal size. What nursing management is needed? Preoperatively, vital signs should be monitored and recorded in the nurse's notes. The infant is kept in upright position 
45 degree angle. Nasogastric tube insertion may be needed to decompress the stomach, so frequent suctioning or continuous suctioning of the tube and nasogastric tube care is provided. IV fluids may be given to prevent hydroelectrolyte imbalance. Parents are explained about the disorder, treatment procedure and all the questions are answered to alleviate their anxiety. Oxygen administration may be needed. Now, as per doctor order, we provide oxygen. After surgery, proper observation and proper post-operative nursing care is given. Vital signs are monitored and recorded. Watch out for abdominal distension. Bleeding at operative site should be reported immediately. Thoracic drainage tubes normally are in place, so thoracic tube care should be provided. We should observe the oscillation of fluid column in the drainage tube and make sure that the tubes are not kinked or blocked. Surgical site should be prevented from infection and injury. A septic technique should be maintained while providing care. Parents are explained about the follow-up and care after discharge. Other nursing interventions are also given. These includes all the nursing care of a hospitalized child that we have discussed in a previous lecture under the heading Nursing Care of Hospitalized Child in the lecture Child Health Nursing. You can watch that check lecture also. To find the link, you just click on I button or visit my channel, My Student Support System. Thank you. You can visit my Facebook page, My Student Support System. And for making your notes, you just visit my blog, that is My Nursing Students Blogsport.com. You can follow on Twitter, Instagram, and you can join Facebook group, that is Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.